I want to do a follow up to the video that I did talking about Loki, because there are a lot of stupid people. And I mentioned earlier in the, in the show how uh, for those of you that wonder why I often repeat myself and I say the say the same thing in a lot of different videos is because I have to approach it from a content creation standpoint and assume, um, unfortunately, that people don't watch my other videos. Um, so when they think they're making good points, they aren't. Usually I've already addressed that. So this is why I try to basically shoot those arguments down, positions down um, before uh, they even get a chance. But I didn't really go into uh, d detail when I was talking about Loki. So some stuff kind of slipped through the cracks. And I want to make sure I reaffirm um, or rather uh, uh, restate this position and then uh, go ahead and 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 like expand upon it why some of the non-arguments are some of the most stupid people stupid arguments that you can make now for context here the uh, the reason why loki is acknowledged in, in in being bisexual which is the term that we're using here bisexual is because the dipshit director or whatever producer uh, executive whatever she is um kate wanted that to be a thing um, she herself acknowledges herself as being um, bi. Therefore, she wanted to self-insert through the character, and she made sure that that happened um, um, and was acknowledged. She bragged about it. We're looking at the Twitter. If you're watching this live um, here or watching this video after the fact, this is basically her confirming everything it is that I say about modern era of uh, of, of really anything coming out of entertainment. These people want to make sure that they – put their own social preferences and social agendas in, uh, in, in, in through these characters and, and what have you. Now, a lot of things that people have been saying in this regards, well, Loki is bisexual. Number one, that's simply not true. Um, it's not, it, it's not considering what the term bisexual actually means. If anything, he's asexual, but he's not bisexual. Right. Uh, that's not anything that he has ever been presented in Marvel Comics as now what they will say, unfortunately. Uh, well, excuse me. Up until the recent era, all new, all different where they tried to canonize random people being gay, bisexual. We know what happened to Iceman and Loki as well. But prior to that, you got mounds of source material where it was never participated. Or it was never suggested that he was. Now, what they've conflated now, all of a sudden, people care about Norse mythology when I have been making the argument that it makes no sense. Considering that these characters are based off of Norse mythology, it makes absolutely no sense for there to be black as guardians. But that was fucking fine. Now, all of a sudden, people care about canon and now all of a sudden they care about the mythology. But even by way of the mythology sense, what they've unfortunately used is the idea of that he's able to shape shift. He is uh, what he is, after all. Um, and, and to present himself in as various different, not just genders, but um, sex, like not, not not genders and not necessarily sexuality. It's more of of um, like animal species. He could change and in, in whatever. But people seem to fucking forget that this guy's a fucking villain. Right. He is literally the God of lies. Deception. He's a trickster. So anything and any time when he has shape shift, shifted, and any time that he even presents himself in a particular sexuality, it's always, almost always, exclusively for the most part, in order for him to get what it is that he wants. So it's not like he's doing it for his, uh, yeah, it's for his personal gain, but it's not because he just simply gets gets off on on, on whatever plan for the other team. No. It's okay. I need to be this. And then if I be this, I could trick this person. That's what Loki is. So this is why I'm saying, if anything, he's asexual. And this is what's the funny part about this is. Imagine being such a crackhead and where you, you want to, oh, it's like what this weirdo said. Uh, happy that it's canon. It's a part of who he is, which is a lie. It's a part of who you are, and she acknowledges that. But imagine that trying to live. Imagine that. You're trying to live through a villain and the God of lies. What are you trying to say? Now, maybe I should have let him have it, guys. Maybe I should have let him have it. If y'all want to live through a fucking bad person... 
who's literally the God of lies. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have just let him have it. But you can't remove that. You can't just sit up there and say, well, because he shapeshifts and he's, he, he got, I can't, I don't think I can use that term by a horse at, at, at one point, which people kind of remove themselves from that and forget all about that. You cannot disconnect the fact that he is literally the God of lies. This is what he does. He doesn't do it just to be doing it. He presents himself in whatever way that he needs to be in order to get what it is that he wants. He's a trickster. This is why even if even if we said that he wasn't some cisgendered straight white guy, at best, you'd have to say he's asexual, not bisexual. He just doesn't care. He'll do whatever he needs to do. And that's a core part of who he is. Not being bisexual like like this idiot said. It's like me just claiming I'm a, all right, I, I tricked someone into believing that I'm a professional athlete, so I'm actually a professional athlete. Like, no, he does what it is that he needs to do to to to, to get the job done. The God of literal lies. Imagine them living through him, of all people. It's like sometimes these guys forget that these people are bad. Nonetheless, they're wrong, objectively speaking. This isn't my opinion. I would see people say, well, I disagree. There's nothing to disagree with. What I just said was a fucking fact. Be mad. I mean, that's, that's your business, but there's nothing to disagree with here. There's nothing to disagree with. Whether we go by mythology, which again is 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 you only can yeah you you're dealing with a character who's in a comic book first, but yeah it's it's based on Norse uh, Norse mythology. Nonetheless, what I'm saying about Loki, particularly in Marvel's uh, universe and Marvel's history, you'd be incorrect to claim that was what he was, and you'd be being disingenuous if you claim he was that simply because he shape shifted. That's fucking stupid. Shape shifting equals bisexual because reasons. Like the fuck? That's a terrible argument. Do y'all not understand that? It's a, it's a, no, it's not a terrible argument. It's a dumbass argument. That's what it is. It's fucking stupid. So you're wrong. I'm right, and it's not like I'm not splitting the atom here. This is uh, not me saying anything that's new. Uh, they're incorrect. But that wasn't even the point of the video, which is hilarious. The point of the fucking video was to me to point out that these guys are concerned about checking boxes and they're pretty open with it. That was my original point. It wasn't that, okay, Loki is not bisexual. Now I'm making a point that you guys are making terrible arguments when you try to say that, but that wasn't even the point of the original video. It wasn't the point. Loki shapeshifts. Loki is the God of lies in order to trick you. If he needs to be whatever he needs to be an animal, a species or whatever, he will do it. That is a core. You want to talk about what's integral to the character? I know when, the, when we get race swaps, they say it's not integral to the character. That's what's important to him. And really, if anything, you neuter him. If you act as if he's just doing the shit, um, just because he's uh, he likes to play for the other team or some stuff. That's that's actually cheapening why he does what he does. So get learnt, dipshit. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.